Hi guys and welcome back to the WOW Embossing YouTube channel. It's Erica sharing a couple of cards with you today and uh, these cards are made with the current month's Facebook WOW Embossing uh, fan challenge and uh, it's rainbow. So basically everything is going to be rainbow, 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 which if you know me is one of my favorites anyway. So here we go. Right, so my idea was to not just use one color, uh, I actually used two shades of each color and I stamped up these leaves from Catherine Pula. This stamp set is called uh, Leave Me in Paradise and I stamped them up uh, with two shades of each color as I said and then I have gone back over them with the WOW embossing pad and I sprinkled them with the clear gloss embossing powder. Now, I've not been like super, super careful to get a really, really good coverage because I actually wanted them to just be a little bit shiny and kind of get that water droplet coverage, if you can see what I mean uh, right here. That just sort of almost like it's covered with dew. So not like super, super, super shiny, but just enough to kind of just give a little bit of texture interest. Anyway, I love how they turned out. So. I have also cut them out with the matching uh, dye because ugh, I am uh, not a fan of fuzzy cutting. And then when it came to the backgrounds, I have used this um, this stamp set, this background stamp is from Simon's Stamp and I think it's just called Plank Background. And I've done one in white, so that's opaque bright white and one in gold, so metallic gold rich. And these two powders I reach for all the time. They're two of my favorite and absolute staples in my card making arsenal. Then when it came to putting these cards together, there was a little bit of faffing, <laughs> which if you know me, is my uh, usual MO. So uh, I started out trying to have uh, the cards uh, upright, but in the end, because I couldn't fit all of the leaves in that I wanted, uh, I ended up deciding to switch it to a horizontal view instead. And uh, with these skinnier ones, I did manage to get uh, a whole of seven in on the uh, background. But on my uh, second card, uh, you will see as uh, um, the, uh, oh, I, th I think I did skip ahead a little bit on the faffing. So seven on this one, and then I ended up going uh, for just six on this one. And you can see the teal one that's between the blue and the, and the green, it didn't make the cut. So got fired. Um, when these were all put in place, I have a little trick for making the assembly of the card uh, super easy, and that is to use a little bit of press and seal. So I cut out a piece, uh, actually these are reused pieces, I've used these over and over again, you don't have to throw it away after the first time. Um, you just press it down, and there you go, <laughs> you can see how the, the leaf got the, uh, got the boot. So the press and seal is going to come out uh, very shortly. And you will see what I mean. So everything is arranged the way I wanted them, base almost. Uh, so you take your press and seal and you put it down over your project and then you press down, hence the press uh, and seal. And then, and then you easily just pick up your pieces and everything stays in one place. So then when you go to add your adhesive, you just add adhesive to the back of it and then you don't have to faff around try to get them all into the same place. So here I've done the same thing and I've rearranged my leaves so that they're all straight-ish. I've uh, gone back with my press and seal, press, 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 and then turn over. And uh, due to um, the current situation in the world, I am running super, super low on glue and adhesive. So I've had to go old school glue stick. Yes, that's how dire things are in Erica's craft room. Send glue, please. If you can hear me, send glue. Right, so um, try to bring myself back to normal. Here we go. Right, so uh, with the press and seal trick, all you're gonna do is add your uh, glue to the back, flip it back over onto your card base, press down and ta-da. So we're gonna do press, seal and reveal. See what I did there? <laughs> I know it doesn't take a lot to uh, excite me these days or uh, make myself crack up. So press, seal, reveal. See, it just works. 
Now, to finish off these cards, I have uh, gone back in with the antistatic tool over a little piece of black cardstock and with my super shiny and pretty Misty from uh, Hero Art, I have stamped up a couple of, uh, actually two of the same sentiment, which says email is good, but letters are better, which in, again, the current state of the world, faux show. It's nice to have a little bit pretty uh, handmade, handmade snail mail in the post. Oh my goodness, that was a mouthful. So these are stamped up with the embossing pad and uh, heat embossed with the bright white um, embossing powder again. And then those two sentiments are just trimmed down with a banner die cut and added to the cards. Super simple, but just, it just kind of makes them pop. And a liberal, liberal sprinkling, sprinkling of that embossing powder. There we have it. Out comes my uh, trusted cork mat again. And with the heat gun on the lowest setting, we're gonna melt this nicely and quickly. I know I say this in every video, but it just doesn't get old, the heat embossing, does it? I mean, watching the magic happen. Oof. Yep. I think heat embossing is gonna be around forever. Forever and ever. At least I hope so, I love it. And snippety snap, there we are. With the banners done, we are gonna add these to the card with some foam tape, just to kind of raise them up and uh, give the cards a little bit of dimension there. And I could have stopped here, and they're quite nice as they are, but I went on a little bit of a bling bling spree and added quite a few little sequins here. And these ones are the Sparkling Clear Mix from Pretty Pink Posh. And I know the cards would have looked lovely without them, but I really do love a little bit of bling on the cards. So with one last little look, this is it. Easy peasy. And if you do, like I do, stamp up loads and loads and loads of leaves at the same time, because why not? Then you'll have at least five, six cards ready in, yeah, a, a basically a crafting session. So why not go for it? The more the merrier. And I think at the, to the current time in the world, spreading a little bit of happiness, even if it's just one little piece of snail mail is probably the way to go. So anyway, thank you for uh, for stopping by today. Uh, hope you hung in there with all my jibber jabbering. I will link uh, most of the products down below and some suitable alternatives. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Thank you for so much for watching. Bye bye now.